to uh, export the existing database in um, MySQL and then upload it to Google Bucket then import it to Google Cloud but before that we need to start a uh, Google Cloud instance for SQL so we're gonna click on this one then we're gonna then we're gonna uh, click on uh, SQL to create a new uh, MySQL instance so we're gonna create the instance here and this one there is still a beta version so we just uh, run the other one the the uh, first generation uh, this one is had some issues with the uh, screen then let's assist to this okay then we're gonna click on choose the first generation okay and then uh, remember to choose the same regions as your project regions then instance name for this one what our name is let's say uh, 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 student management system DB instance okay um, I use only use low okay so student management system DB um, instance okay create a new instance for it then choose the default one we're gonna create okay then we have our instance creating here this instance, this instance is just like a MySQL server running on Google Cloud. Okay, while waiting for the instance to, while waiting for the instance to uh, start, we're going to, uh, we're going to go back to our console. Okay, copy that one. Go to console, or just go to um, mem. And in order to go to MAM or to go to this place, you're going to click on MAM, then open a uh, web start page. I mean, here I already opened, so it's here. Then we're going to click our student's database, student DB over here, and I would like to export this database so that we're going to use it to import it into, um, import it into um, uh, Google Cloud. So we're going to click uh, quick display, then uh, go. Okay, then it has these characters is gonna be a uh, trouble because it's different from the uh, characters that you'll see from here. So it doesn't work. So let's just let's go back here and then I'm gonna choose custom uh, and display all the options there. Uh, then display the comments. Uh, we don't need the comments. Uh, uh, we're gonna export the uh, structure as well as the data. Uh, we're gonna add the create table at create view so so far there uh, in close table column names with uh, this one this one I'm gonna remove that in close the table and column names with uh, uh, backwards to protect the column table name but this one doesn't work so I'm just gonna uh, remove that okay most of it only only thing that I uh, disable is this one Okay, so we're going to click on go. Then here is the uh, queries for us to create the database. Um, I prefer it to, let's just let's go back and do once more uh, modification to custom. So we don't, uh, we don't quote this. Okay, we don't close. And I would like to add something like a create database. Okay, create database and use the database statements. Okay, so that is going to create a database and use the database there. Remember to choose this one and uh, uncheck this one. Okay. Then click on Go. We have our database uh, created here. Okay, create database. If not, as is, create table. Mm, I don't want the comments. You see, I forgot. But I don't want the comments. This kind of comments just mess things up. Okay, so mess things up. So uh, you can mm, manually delete the comments or again go back once more go back then we're going to uh, uncheck the display comments over there okay then now uh, click uh, so we have a lot simpler uh, database there and set time zone and so on and so forth we don't need it so we're gonna copy this uh, uh, several uh, lines of co uh, codes there copy it and I'm gonna create a new let's say uh, new file 
Okay, that's it. I'm gonna save this one as save this one as SQL. Okay, so or let's say student db dot SQL. Okay, save okay. web student db dot SQL on on my desktop already. So uh, go back to this one. So our database instance is created already. We click on this. Okay, we click on the database instance. It started, and right now you could start importing the um, 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 SQL query to our database. And if you click on import, it's gonna ask us to uh, import via the um, SQL, okay, the SQL command. But then it's gonna browse from our bucket. Uh, we haven't got our bucket yet, so we I'm gonna cancel this one. Cancel this one. Then we are gonna click on. Okay, we're gonna click on this, then we're gonna see our storage. Okay, then in here I have a bucket already, but um, you can create a bucket. Let's say create a new uh, student management system SQL file. Okay, student management system SQL file. Then choose every other information like we have done before. We create that bucket. Okay, once we create the bucket, we're gonna upload the file that I created earlier. So that file is uh, student db, student db .sql. open. Okay, so we we'll wait for it to upload. It's finished uploading. So we have our file over here. Then go back to our uh, SQL instance. Go back to our SQL instance. Okay, we click on the database instance over there. And then we're gonna import, okay? We're gonna import SQL file. We'll browse from the uh, SMS SQL file over here. Then we choose the student uh, database SQL file that we exported uh, previously. Click on select, click on import. We'll wait for it, okay? It's importing uh, data to our uh, database, okay? Yeah, done importing. So after uh, uh, finish importing, we have our database there already. Okay, so you could also you could also export the data and see. Okay, export the data and see if you do have the database already. But after these steps, for sure, okay, you already be able to create a new database instance, which is like MySQL, okay, instance. Then, uh create a new bucket for from the uh, uh, storage upload your exported SQL okay, exported SQL file um, to uh, the bucket then you could already import the SQL script to create a new MySQL database on the MySQL instance or SQL instance on Google Cloud okay and the next steps we're gonna do is that we're going to uh, deploy, uh, change the configuration of our website and deploy it online. Okay.